we constructed the three reservoir models, tank one, tank two, and tank three. All right, they have the same characteristics. They have the same properties except the original oil in place. This one, the smallest, 20 million stock tank barrel. This one, 30. And this one, the biggest, 50. All right, so they will produce oil to one particular well. All right, so I will add well here. Okay, or I can go to input, wells data. All right, click this one. Okay, so now I create well type oil producer, producing from tank one, tank two, and tank three. Okay, let's check, click done. All right, this one, this well, I will move the well there. Okay, interesting. All right, so this well will produce oil. We have the production history data from this well. And actually, the, this well will get the oil from these three reservoirs, tank one, tank two, and tank three. But we don't have, or we don't know the production allocation or the production contribution from each tank. So we will calculate the production allocation by first inputting the data in well one. Okay, so let's go. Double click. So we are now inside the well input data. Here we go to production history. Now I will copy my data, my production history data from my spreadsheet and paste the data here. All right. Okay, I've copied my data. Right click, paste table. All right, so this is the production history obtained from this well. I have the time, reservoir pressure, Cumulative oil produced in million stock tank barrel. Cumulative gas produced in million standard cubic feet. And cumulative water produced in, in million stock tank barrel. All right. Let's check the plot. Okay, this one, well. Remove all first. Select the well. Reservoir pressure, okay. Cumulative oil production, okay. Remove all. Cumulative gas production and cumulative water production, the red line, okay. What about cumulative GOR, this one? Okay, so far so good, close. Now inflow performance. So actually we will distribute or we will allocate the production based on this one, based on the inflow performance from each reservoir, okay? So let's be careful here. We first go to tank one, all right? So this is the information sheet for tank one. Well type oil producer. Inflow performance, all right, we will use straight line first above bubble point pressure and then Fogel below the bubble point pressure. So select this one. Fractional flow model, we'll use tank, okay. Productivity index, five. Stock tank barrel per day per PSI. Cross flow injectivity index, keep it as it is, you can see the note. Cross flow injectivity index is only used if cross flow occurs between layers. Okay. And then for the test water cut zero, no gravel pack, IPR pressure drop shift, no, zero, permeability correction, no. Okay. Production schedule, we can leave it blank. Click done. Validate. Okay, 
now for the second tank. All right. The same. The other, the rest of the data input are the same, except this one, productivity index. The second tank will have productivity index of three, lower than the first tank. And again, for the third tank, it will have productivity index of two. All right, now we can validate. Okay, very easy. And then we can create the plot. Okay. Or we need to first check it again. No need to match the IPR. Okay. Click done first, go back again, the plot. Okay, please be careful here, something's not right. Oh yeah, I see. We cannot create the plot because we don't know the pressure distribution, pressure profile in each tank, all right? Because we haven't run the production allocation. So actually we cannot run the IPR. We cannot construct the IPR first. So instead of creating the IPR now, we can click done. All right. We can go to calculate, check the setup. Okay, allocation step size, automatic, recommended, done. Now we can click run allocation. 